I think this piano actually has sort of a uh, a masking frequency happening. You smile. It's kind of blocking the vocals a little. Let's let's fix that. You smile with your eyes, but your face is Let's head over here to the bass right fast. Uh, this has got a crazy bass in it. Some sort of weird... It's like some sort of interstellar bass bomb happening. So we need to take some of that low craziness out of that right fast. Oi. so cool notice how the mix sort of opens up just when i cut out the super low end of that bass um it actually sounds fuller yeah. next thing i remember hearing is this, is this organ here Do the same sort of thing. We're gonna uh, add in a low cut. Let's also send that into the, the piano verb. Okay, let's take a listen to this piano. It's doing these high parts. Same idea, we're going to take some of that super low end out. Okay, I'll put a little compression on that. I'll just use the 1176 uh, Legacy. Okay, let's uh Let's also put in a transient designer because I want to pull a little bit of those attacks in.
I'm doing here, I'm pulling out some of the low end out of that reverb from the keyboard stuff. It's getting all bunched up. So. Ah, I just realized that organ is being fed to the wrong thing. Ah, it's always good to check that. This needs to go to the key sub. I just did I hit the spill button to check to see what's going to the uh, the key so that's all the tracks and the buses uh, when you do that which is awesome okay so okay so what I'm doing here I'm just sort of setting these apart from each other the organ and the that twinkly piano thing they're kind of going on opposite sides. We're going to do a low cut on this as well. Pretty sure that's a Mellotron. Let's uh, let's use the uh, oh yeah, the good old Renaissance axe. I know that's made for guitars, but it sounds pretty good on a lot of stuff. Okay, let's move over to the background vocals now. I think we're ready for those. Let's head over here. Okay, we got a high one and a low one. We got Barry Gibb over here on the left. Nice. I'm cutting a lot of that low end out. There's a weird frequency. Oh, that one. Okay. Same thing over here. I was about to say that's the same part. Okay, cool. I've already got a BG verb already set up here. I think I'm gonna put the, um, the BX20 on here because that's such a long and huge reverb. I think it'll be good on this one. Let's see how that sits. Okay, on the main output here, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some two bus processing. Um, let's go ahead and put in the uh, the Neve. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm not using any of the limiter section. I'm just using the compressor section. Um, the gain is off, basically. Fast release. I'm not sure about that one. Let's let's try a different one right fast. I prefer that one on on this particular uh, mix. So let me get rid of the uh, 33609. I'm gonna pull this up here. What I've done here is just kind of rolled up the side chain so that it's not triggering on the very low stuff, like some of the drums and some of that bass. Okay. Let me get to a louder part and see what happens. I like that on the the low impedance. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. That sounds great. Okay, next time we'll do the guitars, drums, and uh, bass, and start some automation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you can. It really helps. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks.